pressure really on the young man here from Mitcham. Five reds to go. Well, well. What do you think he played there, Willie? Well, actually, I think he was just showing a little bit of inexperience there, Ted. He was obviously trying to get the game over with before he should have done there, attempting a very, very fine clip, a very, very dangerous shot, and with a player of Steve's capabilities. One gives him an excellent chance of trying to redeem some of the deficit he faces at the moment. And he's broken the reds nicely. Eight. Of course, remembering that these players are playing in junior pop black, both very inexperienced players. It's going to take a lot of courage for Steve Ventham now. Obviously, be very, very nervous playing in the semi final of junior pop black. Just having a little look at the scoreboard. 16. That's it. Seventeen. Down to the last red then. Thirty two. Stephen Hendry paying for that last mistake. It's a very, very big pressure ball, this one, Ted. I played it very, very well. Of course, if Steve Ventham had missed that blue, then the uh, game would have been at young Stephen Hendry's mercy, but played a super shot on the blue and st played the stun run through to the white, which has left him in an ideal opportunity now of getting really back into this match and probably even winning the frame. The 14 year old just looks on. 43. Steve Bentham goes one point in front. Fifty-two. Has a chance of equaling the highest break by taking these last two balls. Fifty-eight. Up to now, the highest break has been by John Parrott with sixty-five. <laughs> Steve Bentham then from Mitchum clears the table equaling the highest break, a magnificent 65, following a mistake by the 14-year-old young star from Fife, Stephen Hendrick. And so it's exit for him and into the final for Steve Benton. What a marvellous and exciting semi-final that was. Now here's Willie Thorne talking to little Stephen Hendry. You must be very, very pleased, Stephen, with your, your second appearance on television there. Were you very nervous? Yes. 
I wasn't as nervous as m in my first match. Yeah. You started off absolutely very, very well, and we're going to see your 30 break now. If you can perhaps talk us through it as we go along. Actually, in the commentary box here, we, we were saying, uh, Ted and I, we, didn't, we weren't sure whether this red potted. Did it go by the red yeah, easy? it just went past. I couldn't see it. It just went stunned for the black. Yeah, it played it absolutely super well there. And, of course, we finished nice down the black here. Of course, you had a chance of playing for a choice of two or three reds there. Were you purposely playing for the one near the pocket? Yeah, I was playing for that. It's the easiest one to get back on the black. And also, of course, it clears the, uh, the black pocket then, doesn't it? Yeah. Started off very well there, red and the black, of course. Finished perfect on the red. I was very pleased with the shot you played here. You played a little screw back here. Screwing up for the black. You hit it very, very well. It's just want to screw back here for the red. You played for the one on the cushion here, did you? Let's see how you hit this one. Yeah, it's played it very well. Of course, you need the rest here. Do you get a lot of practice being, being a little bit smaller than most? I suppose yeah. you use the rest more than most people, yeah? Just want to stun off the cushion. It's essential, of course, that you don't finish too straight on the black here, and I think you played it very well, actually. I'm not sure whether you did finish exactly straight. No. It's just when it's done onto the bottom red of the two, mm -hmm. next to the back. Yeah, you've got a nice angle, as we can see there, on the black. And played a little kiss into the red, played it very well. I think this is the shot where you're coming in a little bit of trouble here. You stunned the red you were playing, I, I think, for the black. I trying to screw onto that other red to lean us on the oh, black. Oh, I see. And, of course, you've just kissed by it. the red. And of course now you've got no alternative, of course, but to uh, play a safety shot. Yeah, that's just Roll the weight through the brain and the cushion. I think actually you played it very, very well in this stage. A super break, Stephen. Well, Stephen, your second appearance in Junior Pop Black, semi-final last year, now we've got you in the final. You must be very pleased with the way you played. Yeah, very pleased, yeah. You hardly had any chances at all for the first part of the game no. until... No, I think got in very well. Made a good 30 break. And then I think at one time you were 47-1 behind, and we can yeah. see the safety shot that Stephen did try to play. Yeah. Yeah, what he's actually playing here, I think, is to, to clip the red and put the white back in ball. But actually he caught it a little bit too thin, Yeah. and it gave you your only opportunity of the match. I thought actually he was going to play the um, three reds there in the bunch, yeah. but he changed his mind. Yeah, which Luckily. in hindsight, perhaps, yeah, yeah. perhaps he probably should have played a safety shot yeah. after that, but... I think he plays a little bit thicker than that, of course, and yeah, uh, that's right. this is your only opportunity, and now you can perhaps help me talk you through this wonderful break that you've made. Yeah. Being well, 46 behind. Like, very slow to get on the black, and I've actually I've played it a bit slow, if anything. Mm. Yeah, I think actually it didn't quite, quite come no. up high enough. No, sort of had to do here. Mm. Had to go all or none. Into the reds, yeah. yeah. I think this is probably the, uh, the one of the best shots of the break, because you played into the three reds, didn't you? Yeah. Just having a look there where the one potted, but yeah. of course with the not one potting you've got to clip the second red. Yeah. Actually you couldn't have hit this better. Can you remember what was going through your mind at this time, oh. being four <laughs> six behind? No, oh, I just think of get my head down and try and get yeah. back into the game. Of course where the yeah. balls were, you must have envisaged being held to probably clear the table from where they were, but yeah. uh, a lot of pressure on you at this time. Choice here you can of course play yeah, for the I'll ball. Just play to drop this thing off the cushion for that the red. Yeah, the yeah. And I know when uh, I'm playing, you can feel the tension when, you, when you're playing in, in a game when you've got to clear all the balls. Could you feel yourself uh, oh, yeah, shaking a little bit this time? Oh, yeah. Well, still 30 points behind, as yeah. we can see. Just what are you just, playing here? Just a stun off the cushion. A little kick there. Yeah, I saw the white yeah. bounce a bit yeah. there, yeah. Mm. Of course, television um, lights make it a little bit difficult sometimes to yeah. play. Just play, stun this up. You played for the just choice of two reds there. Yeah, played it just a little bit too hard. You just played to four. stun this, the far red off the cushion and come back on the black. Of course, you probably know that tension creeps in the eye. Oh, yeah, you yeah. tend to hit them a bit harder sometimes, don't you? Well, I've hit this a bit soft, actually. Yeah, I think, actually, you've got a little bit of a bounce there. You might have got yeah. a kick off the ball there. Just played to top this off a two cushion. Did you actually play to get on this red in the middle back? Yeah, I did, yeah. I wasn't sure when, when you played the shot whether you didn't quite run through well enough, but uh, finished very well. Yeah. And what was going? What were you going to play for here? Well, I thought just play to stun this in, just birdie the red. Mm. And birdie the red. You played yeah. a bit of golf as well. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you played this very well, and this is the shot um, that Ted yeah. and I were well, talking about. This was the this, pressure shot. Yeah. This was either all or nothing, and yeah. either win the game or lose the game in this shot. Yeah. Obviously, must have been very confident of putting that ball. Well. I had quite a few balls before that, and I was obviously queuing quite well. Well, of course, then you managed to clear all the colours and. Put yourself in the final and best of luck against John yeah. Parrott. Yeah, thanks very much. Hope you have a good game. Yeah.
And by the way, that break of 65 equals John Parrott's break also 65. And it's Bentham and Parrott who meet in the final of Pop Black, Junior Pop Black of 1983. So we hope you'll join us for that one, which is going to be great. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>